Welcome everyone to another game of Elemental War of Magic. This is Beta 3. And for those of you who read my blog at my site, uh, you may have remembered that I said I was going to start with Zagoth. And the land is, uh, the planet we're on is known as Tunarus. Alright, now what I've just done besides spending time figuring out what was wrong with the game to get it started, etc, etc. Because remember, it's a beta, and, you know, beta sorta suck. Alright, well what I just did is I settled my first uh, land. Um, I was in a, a prime location for uh, setting up a city, so that is what I did. I have a, nearby I have a fruit grove, north I have fertile land, and north of that a metal deposit. This is like candy. Oh, and you'll notice over here in the shadows, looks like there's a beach nearby. So we can expand our city this direction and eventually build, as it gets larger, build a, uh, a port so we can explore the world. Because we're playing on a large, multiple continent map. Now, these, uh, that's what we've got going on right now. Um, I've just recently also recruited Janusk. He's a, uh, he's a walking clippy. Uh, he, he tries to help me out by telling me, you know, ever so important things. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at Ebenhold and see what we can build so far. Let's zoom on in to my little war camp. This is Ebenhold! There are many like it, but this is ours! No, okay. Uh, let's see, we have a labor pit, which provides materials. We have access to a war council, which provides troop training. I still think the cost of that is actually a bit too high, personally. Um, a lore shop, which, when we click on that, would provide spell points. Spell points means we can learn spells. Spells are important. But so is everything else in here. Eventually we can even build our sacrificial altar. Uh, let's see. Right now, we... Uh, don't have the tech to learn anything about those locations yet, so we'll start off with materials and explore or drive it in certain directions for us. And a war council put over here. Because having troops is actually going to be quite important down the road. Because uh, in this version, there are monsters that wander around and will take over your villages if you're an idiot to leave them there. Um, undefended. I'm not saying you're an idiot, per se, as, you know, the scenario that you would find yourself in could leave you in a uh, situation that would be considered uh, unintelligent. Anyways, we'll move down this way. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's it for uh, the first starting basis. Uh, let's just explore a little bit. Let's see, north or south? North or south? Seems to be some form of terrain here, probably indicating woods. Hey, look at that. What else? Uh, let's go northeast. When in doubt, go left. Hey, look at that. Ebenhold's growing. Uh, now our gentleman, Janisk, who, wow, he's actually kind of tough, a lot tougher than I expected. Oh, it's because he's got a really good longsword. It's got a rating of 8. Um, also, just so you guys understand, what we've got going on in the game is now we're starting to see the game. This is, this is more still of a husk of the game, but we're finally, for the first time, getting access to aspects of the game that you know will be things that you'll see live. Um, now things will be tweaked, the mechanics, uh, stuff like that. Um, now, as much as I'd like to send Janisk out roaming, I'm going to keep him really close to the city, uh, because, like I said, monsters. Monsters will kill you. Anybody surprised by that? No? Okay. Uh, let's see. Keep on exploring. Finally, it took us a little while, but now we have access to research. And, well, this is interesting. What would you like to research? Um, anything that would let me research it? Uh, let's see, this used to be 
I think this is civilization, this is warfare. I, I think civ text would be useful. And uh, minor graphical glitching. That happens from time to time. Because guess what? We're in a beta! Alright. Just because I, as fun as I am of graphical glitches, we're going to head off this way. Oh, hey, look at that, an Earth Shard. Uh, I didn't actually take Earth as a, uh, a standout point for Zagoth. I actually took Fire and uh, Ice, just because of preferences. But eventually having access to an Earth Shard would be pretty nice. So we also have another reason to grow our city or put another one over here in time. Um, sort of have to wait for everything else to fall into place, though, so. All right. Stay nearby. More treasure. Send him over here. Hey, anybody else, else notice that bizarre graphical uh, glitching? Um, and the world just became half ice. See, this is what... I'm serious. This is just like, this is awesome. This is the fun that people look forward to in beta. Is like, hey, why'd that all break? Um, well, actually, it didn't. It just looked that way. Um, hey, we can actually start building units now. Uh, in that sense, we are going to start training up. up uh, oh, look at that quantity. Eventually, you can build larger and larger quantities, quality. Uh, of the troops as you learn it. This is kind of new. This is compared to what we've had before. I still think that uh, move is there's probably supposed to be a period here and it says moves 20 but it really is only two. Um, we're gonna trade up a couple of these guys just because without them we have no armies. Alright and we're gonna just try to continue on just to explore the rest of the map, make sure everything is visible that it should be. It's really unusual that it shows it like that, but 